Okay guys, in today's video, I decided to do a discussion video talking about the Dagger Duchess because recently her usage rates have gotten out of hand. She is used so much right now at the top of ladder. I think both casuals and pros know that she's the best tower troop in the game, but I don't think people realize the extent of how good she is. So today, I'm going to show you guys some stats, helping to back that up, really put it into perspective and show you guys. So showing you guys the best Clash Royale decks right now, the most popular ones, they all have the Dagger Duchess. A lot of the recent 12 win Grand Challenge winners, pretty much over 90% of them. And then I'll show you guys some top ranked match stats as well. And I'll show you guys the stats in competitive and people's idea for the Dagger Duchess getting a rework or a nerf. And at the very end, I'll play a game with the Dagger Duchess. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to scroll down here and you guys will see the 14 best decks in the game. Most popular ones that people are playing all have the Duchess. It is insane. I think by now everyone knows she's too strong and needs a nerf. So a lot of giant decks, we see her in Golem too, another giant variation, different Golem variation, a Goblin Giant deck, a Lava deck, an Expo deck, Giant Graveyard, a Drill deck, Lava Hound, Royal Hogs, and then finally at the 15th most popular deck in the game, we finally see the Princess Tower. And now let's get into the next category, 12 win grand challenges. This is probably just as insane. In the past hour, pretty much every single person to win a grand challenge has used the Dagger Duchess in their deck. And if you look at each of their opponents too, every single one of them also has the Dagger Duchess. And I can just keep scrolling and scrolling and you guys will see that as the case. So when people have the option of playing her, that is the choice people make, which really shows that tower troops are incredibly pay to win, especially when they're super broken, because not everyone has the option of using her on ladder, but when everyone has the option of being able to play her in grand challenges, this is literally what everyone is playing. And now I'll show you guys the top ranked category. So basically this is showing matches from the top 1000 and you guys will see the same thing. When people have the Dagger Duchess, it's what they are choosing to use in pretty much every single deck. So if this isn't enough proof that she needs an emergency nerf, I don't know what is. I can just keep scrolling and scrolling and you see Dagger Duchess on both sides. This is what people are playing in the top 1000 and it just has an insane usage rate right now of even probably like 95%. I want to say in the top 1000 it's about 95%. Finally we see someone running Cannoneer. And guys, this is perhaps the most shocking statistic out of everything I've showed so far. So the Dagger Duchess was the most used tower troop in the CRL April monthly final, which is basically the competitive league in this game every month that goes on. And it basically dictates what players are going to qualify for the world finals based on performance. And she had a 100% usage rate. What changes would you make to balance her out? But guys, that is insane. Every single pro in the monthly final used the Dagger Duchess every single match, which proves when people have the option, there's no reason to use any other tower troop besides her. Now let's get into some of the suggestions people are making as a good nerf for her. So Jasper here says less hit points than a princess tower. I would say that's a good nerf, or they could even make it have the same hit points as a princess tower because right now she has more. Too Good says complete rework. Nerfing or buffing will make it even more RPS. Needs more daggers that will do less damage overall, but a lower maximum DPS, higher minimum DPS. Osama here says less hit points and then six daggers and faster charge. All right, I'll show a few more replies here. Go back to only having Princess Tower Sugar said. SK said less hit points, possibly also less max damage and more minimum damage. Make her recharge slower. I like the recharge slower suggestion. I think that's a pretty decent nerf. All right, I'm going to play one game with the Dagger Duchess now. One of the best Duchess decks in the game, in my opinion, because she pairs very well with the Goblin Drill. And of course, our opponent is using the Dagger Duchess. Not a surprise at all, because like I said, in the top 1000, or I would even say at Ultimate Champion in general, pretty much 95% of people are running the Duchess. If they get her upgraded, that is for sure what they are playing, without a doubt. Now, this guy's got the bowler, which is going to be very good against our drill. I'm going to send in the drill here, 
and we'll see if he's got another response to it or not and he's got the knight okay so knight kind of was not really played that well on the drill as you can see we're getting quite a lot of damage there i don't know if i even need to go in for a knight on the bowler the tesla and the duchess may be enough Ooh, with the hog though i'm gonna want to get that down going for a tesla oh crap that sucks that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. Oh my goodness. I got that Tesla down so late. And he's got a NATO. What in the world? All right, I'm going to go drill here. That NATO was an overcommitment. I can go drill, maybe Evo Bomber, potentially on his, uh, the bowler, possibly. I don't know. That, that um, He might predict it, but I'm going to do it anyway because he's going to have to spend a lot to... Over All right, well, Knight, I mean... Eh, I, it is what it is. I mean, it's it's a pretty obvious prediction, to be fair. So, oftentimes, when you do go for the Evo Bomber at the bridge, they can get a nice prediction on top of it. But it's all right. We'll get other opportunities to do it. I think we'll be fine. I'm going to go for the Evo Tesla here. And let's actually get a drill going because he did just go in for his bowler. So, he doesn't have it in rotation at the moment. He is going to have to play at least a couple more cards. And he actually might not even... All right. He is going to get an Ewas down. But overall... That drill was very successful, I would say. We almost took back the lead. He's only got a small one at this point. So we're going for our Evolve Bomber here. And try to get back to a Tesla quickly so we're ready for it when he goes in for the Hog. But his cycle is a lot slower than mine, so I should be A-OK -okay here. He might go in for a Bowler in the right lane. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he is going to do that. I kind of called that. So we're actually just going to go ahead and poison it. Because we're in double now, so we're able to do things like poison a Bowler, which is pretty nice, of course. We got to watch out, though, for his Evolve Firecracker. I'm pretty scared of that. So, there it is. Let's just get arrows on top of her. It doesn't kill her, of course, but it's at least going to do a pretty solid amount of damage to her, which is great, of course. And we're going to get Ice Spirit going here, and we will be able to get the King activated. Finally, that should have happened already a while ago, but better late than never, I guess. Let's just get a Tesla set up here. We'll go for Skeletons, and maybe we can get a Evolve Bomber on top of the... Uh, or maybe not. Let's actually distract the bowler like this, and then from here, see if we can get the Evolve Bomber on top of the tower. And we do manage to successfully do that. That was pretty nice. He did arrow, though, so we didn't get an insane amount of damage. But this is actually coming down to the wire here. Like, this is a fairly close game so far, at least. Like, we're really kind of trading back and forth here. Like, any one of us could win this, I feel like. It all comes down to some probably firecrackers and just some good drills it's it's gonna be it's probably gonna be pretty close the main thing we got to watch out for of course is the evolve firecracker i don't like having to spend arrows to take out the firecracker i prefer to use my other units which is why i haven't been uh just you know okay so he is gonna let's see if he decides to trying to think what the best thing to do is here i'm actually going to use my evolve bomber defensively because i really want to get rid of the firecracker and that didn't even end up happening what the heck let's just go for an ice spirit here and uh oh shoot 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 the evolve firecracker oh my gosh uh i'm just gonna arrow her i think that should be fine uh we got some chip damage let's just go skellies we'll go in for a tesla here and yeah i don't even know why this game is as close as it is i feel like this is a pretty good matchup for me but i just haven't been playing it as well as i should have been i'm gonna poison here he played the bowler in the back so he's forced to drop something else he goes in for the firecracker we're gonna get a evolved tesla up here and then i'm gonna go in for a knight maybe we can get an evo bomber on top of the bowler oh he predicted it i hate it when they predict it it's i mean to be fair, it's like so obvious. That's why it happens a lot. But we got the win anyway. That's going to be GG. Let me know what you guys think about the Dagger Duchess. Does she need an emergency nerf? I definitely think she does. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.